Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, a very good day to all of you. So welcome to section 6.4 and this is about a linear function. So basically a linear function can be visualized on the graph as a straight line and this is really an interesting topic. It is simple and it's easy to handle it mathematically. Uh, a linear equation has one independent variable uh, normally we call it x and in one dependent variable and we usually name it as y so this is the general form of linear equation you can have ax plus by plus c equals to zero a b and c are all constants okay so this is the general form of linear equation um, and you can see that these are examples of linear function where everything is straight line and on this one is nonlinear function or nonlinear equation here uh, which corresponds to this nonlinear looking graph okay now uh, in order to construct a linear equation um, there are three different ways of constructing a linear equation. So the first one is what we call gradient intercept form. So when you have a gradient or a slope and you have one point, so that means you can construct an equation in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. Um, so here, uh, the formula for the slope, so this is the gradient or slope, can be obtained by finding y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And c is the intercept at y-axis. So this is c, it's the intercept at y-axis. And if you want to find the slope, you just need to know two points, maybe this point or that point. And you should be able to find, uh, maybe this one is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 based on this you should be able to plug in the values into this expression and you will be able to get the slope of the of the line next uh, you can also construct a linear equation if you have um, a gradient which is a slope and one point so this is the point, uh, whatever point given on the line, you just need only one point. And if you have the slope, then you can come up with this form of linear equation. Y minus Y1 is equal to Mx minus X1. And the third form of linear equation incorporates the idea of intercepts. So A is the intercept on X axis and B is the intercept on Y axis. So once you know the intercept, you can construct a linear equation in this form where X over A plus Y over B must equal to one. Um, next is uh, other type of linear equations. So the first one is what we call the horizontal line. Um, and as you can see here, uh, when you have a horizontal line, the equation is simply like this. Y is equal to B, where B here is a constant. So this line will pass through the point 0, B. So this would be point B. So this is 0. So the line here is a horizontal line and it will pass through this point. This is point zero B. So as an example, if I have Y is equal to four, it is basically saying that doesn't matter what value of X is, the answer to Y is always four. For example, if X is one, the answer is, is four. X is, I don't know, negative four, the answer is still four. And X is, X could be, I don't know, 20. The answer is y equals to 4. So basically, if you connect all these dots, then you will have a straight horizontal line. Okay. Next is the equation of a vertical line. X is equal to A. So where the line passes to the point A and 0. 
So what is it saying is basically it doesn't matter what y is, x will forever be a. So how can you visualize the line? It is very simple. So the first one is draw the axis. So this is x and this is y. So like I said, x is equal to a. So that means doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what y is x will always be x will always be a so if 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 y is here it is still the answer is this is let's say this is a the answer is a if y is at this point the answer is still a okay the the combination x and y so if y is over there it is still a and if you connect the dots then you will have a straight line that passes to point A and 0. Excuse my drawing, this is quite bad. So you have the line that passes to the point A and 0. So this is what we call vertical line. And this is the horizontal line. Okay. Now the slope of any straight line can be categorized as follows. Positive slope. Uh, when it goes from you know downwards so it goes upwards in this manner so it is positive and if it's going down so this is a negative slope and if you have the horizontal line that means the slope is zero um, there is no increment whatsoever and if you have a vertical line so you can see that the slope will be undefined why is it undefined because the denominator will become zero why is the denominator zero you can see that if i want to calculate the slope of this line i need to find two points on this line let's say this is the point and this is the point you will see that this is you can say that this point is x1 y1 but what about the point here what is the value of x here the value of x here will be the same which is x1 because it is at the same point here x1 and it could be y2 so when i plug in this value into um, this expression you will see that x2 minus x1 will essentially be x1 minus x1 so denominator will become zero and therefore the slope is undefined right so now we are going to look at some examples in finding the equation of the line okay so how do you find the equation of the line with slope 3 that passes through the point so for this one i will definitely use um, this form of equation y minus y1 mx minus x1 why because i already know that this is m i already know that this is x1 and this is y1 so i'm just going to use all the information and plug into this uh, equation so now y so now y minus y1 is y minus 4 the slope is 3 x minus minus 1 will be positive positive 1 so y is equal to 3x plus 3 plus 4 y is 3x plus 7 so this is equation of the line and um, it is also easy to to sketch the graph first of all um, this is the axis this is x and y now um, this could be I don't know 1 2 3 4 negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 and so on uh, and you can see that this is the intercept at 7 so probably I can use this scale so 2, 4, 6, 8 so 7 will be somewhere here so now I'm going to choose two points to plot so first one is this point at 7 so this is the intercept uh, next, I know that the slope is 3, so I know that it is either going, uh, it is going upwards, so I'm going to have this line 
okay it looks like this but i need to have another point in order to connect the two dots and form a straight line so what we can do is um i can have y is equal to 3x plus 7 so if y is 0 i'm going to know uh, what is the point on x-axis for that so 3x plus 7 therefore 3x is negative 7 x must be negative 7 over 3 so negative 7 over 3 is is just um, a number that is slightly greater than 2 okay so it will be maybe somewhere here you can you can actually label that with negative 7 over 3 so these are the two points that you need in order to construct a straight line so so this is how your line going to be okay so this is the line of um, y equals to 3x plus 7 <coughs> next uh, find the equation of the line that passes through these points to negative 3, negative 4 and 1 and sketch its corresponding graph. So since we have uh, two points already, we can actually go on and work and work out the value of its gradient. So m is y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. So let's say this is x1, y1, x2 and y2. So y2 minus y1. So 1 minus minus 3 is plus 3. And then x2 minus x1, negative 4 minus 2. Next, I will have 4, negative 6. And this will be negative 2 over 3. So next, I can uh, construct the equation. Um, using this formula y minus y1 m x minus x1 I can choose whatever point that I want it doesn't matter so now let's just stick to this point x1 and y1 so y minus minus 3 is y plus 3 m is negative 2 over 3 x minus x1 x minus 2 Next, um, I shall have negative 2 over 3x plus 4 over 3 minus 3. So, 4 over 3, 4 over 3 minus 3, that would be negative 5 over 3. So, this is negative 2 over 3x minus 5 over 3. Okay, um, so this is the equation of the line and of course uh, you can uh, easily sketch the graph um, i'm not going to show it to you guys anymore but i think you can get the idea the same idea follow the same idea this will be the point of intercept on y-axis so so the point here will be 0 negative 5 over 3 the slope is um, is a negative slope that means the graph is going downhill okay the graph is going in this direction and I'm sure you can work it out so basically roughly the graph looks like something like this so you just need to know what is the point here this is actually 0 negative 5 over 3 and you need to find somewhere uh, a point on this uh, x axis connect the two dots and get the line okay so this one will be uh, left as a homework okay now under some circumstances you may need to change the given form of linear equation in order to solve the problem for example here um, you you may have to change this this is the the form of linear equation to something that makes it easier for you to find the slope and the intercept so um, 
let's take a look at this equation so the first one we have negative x plus 3y plus 6 equal to 0 now I'm going to rearrange the whole expression so that it looks like 3y is equal to x minus 6 y is equal to x minus 6 over 3 this is equal to 1 over 3x minus 2 so now this looks uh, a bit easier in order to find the slope and the y-intercept so what is the slope <clears throat> this is the slope so m is equal to 1 over 3 and this is the intercept so intercept is equal to negative 2 so how do we sketch the graph so this is the uh, axis this is x this is y uh, so this is negative 1 this could be negative 2 and we know one point already which is at this one negative 2 okay this could be 1 2 3 3 and so on now I need to have another point and then only I can connect a proper proper line connect the dots and get a proper line so I can do that by uh, considering y is equal to 1 over 3x minus 2 when y is 0 1 over 3x minus 2 is equal to 0 1 over 3x is equal to 2 x is equal to 6 so I can have 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 is somewhere here so this is this is another point and let's connect the two dots here to to get a linear equation so basically this is how the line looks like okay the next example is um, it is asking you to interchange the form of linear equation in the form to of this one to something that looks like an intercept form because uh, the question is asking you to find what is the x-intercept and the y-intercept so what is the form what is this intercept form intercept form if you look at the previous lecture note it is when you have x over a plus y over b is equal to 1 so this is the the, the point the intercept form where clearly you can find what is a and what is b so now what i have here is 3y minus 4x is equal to 9 and first what i can do is i can make sure that the right hand side is equal to 1 so how do i make it equal to 1 i can divide the whole thing with 9 so if i do that on the right hand side i have to do the same thing on the left hand side so now um, the expression can be written as 1 over 3y minus 4 over 9x is equal to 1. Okay. Now, um, oh, I'm sorry. This is not 9. This is actually negative 9. Okay, uh, let's do it again. So I'm going to do this again. Okay, let's do this again. I'm sorry. Um, this is negative 9. Alright. Um, so I have 3y minus 4x is equal to negative 9. So in order to make sure that the right hand side is equal to 1, I will have to divide this with negative 9. So the whole thing on the left hand side must be divided with negative 9. So I exit. We have to think about it as a balance scale. So whatever changes you do on the right hand side, the same changes must be applied to the left hand side as, as well. Okay. So now this will become 1 and clearly this will become y negative 3 plus 4x over, over 9 is equal to 1. Now I'm going to try and write it so in the form that looks like this x over a plus y over b so now um, i have y over negative 3 plus 
uh, 4x over 9 can be rearranged so that it looks like this x over 9 over 4 so this is similar 4x over 9 is similar to x over 9 over 4 which is equal to 1 and based on comparison i'm sure you can compare it clearly your a the value of a must be um, 9 over 4 and the value of b must have been negative 3 so i'm going to formally write the answer the answer is um, x intercept is 9 over 4 and y intercept is equal to negative 3 and you can use this information to to graph the line and that will be uh, left to you as homework okay um that's all for today that's the end of section 6.4 thank you very much for listening